welcome back to my channel, hopefully. Um, I wanted to do a video today on the new ColourPop Pressed Shadows. Um, I have become obsessed with them, to say the least, and I thought I could give a very well-informed opinion about all of their, all of the new spring collection. Let's start off with some swatches and some reviews of their new spring collection because I'm really excited. I think I think they're beautiful. So let's start off. I only have these two high, highlighter and blush duos. So they came out with three: one for the sand, one for the nectar, and one for their pink collection. I picked up the pink collection one first. It was called Done Deal, and that is this beautiful blush very pink because I'm very fair skinned these these blushes look beautiful on me um, color pop up blushes are very pigmented so know that um, it is called above and beyond and the highlight is called made me do it so here is a swatch of above and beyond and here is made me do it here's a swatch of those isn't that highlight beautiful but they're just stunning like the highlight just blew me away like I really did not I bought it for the blush did not expect that pressed powder highlight to be so so beautiful I, I use the blush as an eyeshadow all the time like I'll just pop it in my crease wash it over my lid for just a quick day look love this I love this but that is done deal from the pink collection next is double play and this is from the sand collection and a lot of people were looking at this and asking me is this can this be used as a bronzer and uh, yeah but you're gonna want to use a bronzer also I'm really fair I honestly will will just go in with this put this on and it, it blends beautifully it doesn't go on patchy and it just gives a flush of color to my cheek but on days that I really want to do my makeup, I do use bronzer as well. And it, and honestly, that's why I love this because it creates that perfect gradient. I use the Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and if I start with that and then use this and then the highlight it comes with, it I have that that is what I have on today. I use the Chocolate Soleil bronzer, then I used this um, blush and getting handsy as a gradient uh, upwards on top right above that and then I used this highlight and patted down and it just see it creates that perfect gradient it doesn't look patchy it doesn't it just looks like beautiful glow I this is probably this is my favorite I did not get the third duo I think I believe it's called the knockout or oh no I think that's the eyeshadow set forget the name of the, the third one but it was for the nectar collection and it was a really really beautiful nectar color and a highlight I don't know tell me if I should get it I just feel like it's a lot um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my two I have here but I'll swatch these for you here is getting handsy and here is patted down like look at this freaking highlight this is what I have on today I, I don't know if you can see that but it's it's very sheer the blush but the highlight is crazy like let me just show you um, with my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting brush and watch or like look at that. I don't know are you seeing any difference peeps bro double play out of the two that I bought, 100% my favorite. So beautiful. I've been using it every day. And that's from the Sand Collection. And again, I, I'm pretty sure that they're limited edition, so I would get my hands on one as soon as I can. As of now, their Spring Collection, the Nectar, is my favorite. So why don't we start there? We do it. Issues, Centerfold. Slim fit. Oh, I don't know what I'll do. Slim fit, you know, making moves and cutouts. Alright. 
I paid, I bought all of them and I want to let you guys know which ones to kind of avoid and which ones to buy that are beautiful because some of them are really chalky and patchy and um, I spent my money, I'm not going to return them but you guys still have the opportunity to buy individual eyeshadows and then they send you um, a palette. I have quite a few of them because if you buy four eyeshadows right now you get the palette free to put it in and honestly I bought a medium Z palette and then I also bought this stunning Tarte palette from Ulta today. I, when I saw it I was like $17? What? Like, I need it. Cause look at that mirror. <laughs> so, I knew I'm gonna need more space for my ColourPop press shadows because I keep on frickin' buying them. So, yeah. That's all I have to say about that. But look at how, look at how big that mirror is. A large C palette, which are like kind of shit, if I can say that. Like they're gonna hit. Um, they're like twenty. This seventeen dollars tart. It's just kind of killing it. This is a color pop video, but if you want a good palette to put your color pop eyeshadows in, this is amazing. It's fucking amazing. Oh, it holds 25 eyeshadows. If you're gonna buy 25 freaking ColourPop eyeshadows, I'm telling you, this is beautiful. It's $17. I don't know. You can probably get it all on Ulta.com. I know Macy's carries another one as well, but it's some like icky snakeskin color. So when I saw this leopard one, I was like, that's coming home. So, um, enough about that. Nectar collection. Start there. I put these in the order that they came in. Um, oh, I think the Nectar Collection was called the Knockout. Um, so it comes in a little sleeve and it comes in one of these palettes, but with a sleeve on it that says the Knockout. Um, I'm not, I, I honestly, a lot of people take out this, um, you know what, I did it. You can remove this top bit, like, very do it very carefully and under, underneath you have you can fit 10 shadows in there so if you like I don't really like I think the stars are beautiful like really pretty but it's I don't know I it's not my favorite packaging um, but thank you color pop pop for giving us a free palette like you can make a free little Z palette if you can't afford to spend $17 on a medium Z palette or you know it's $20 on a large one that's kind of shiny yes get the tart one because it's way cooler do what you want get back on track friends. So my favorites here's um, issues center fold and slim fit so these three that is what they look like Aren't those just beautiful? And then we have Making Moves, which I used for a long time until I got the other three I just showed you. Making Moves is really, really beautiful. It's, it's very pink. Um, and then this is a really pretty blending color called Cutouts. And that looks like this. That's what it looks like. See how bright these colors are? They're just stunning. So that whole, the whole Nectar collection, it's just so beautiful. Okay, so let's move on to the pink collection. So um, I bought the little palette that they got because it got really kind of convoluted for me because they had so many different um, individual eyeshadows and I was like, which one's for the pink collection, which one's not? So I just bought this one. So obviously it, can't, it just looks like a regular you know when you pop regular palette like I just want to let you guys see what it looks like when it comes and it's called this one the pink collection spell of the ball you get the colors secrets soft core fair play and on the fence and I bought an extra pink one called poodle and the reason I did that was I didn't like on the fence um, on the lid it went on really chalky and patchy and I thought these, that poodle was a really similar color and 
it wasn't patchy and it's a little bit lighter but it's a lot less patchy here I'll show you on my fingers what they look like so here's on the fence which comes in the thing in the um, bell of the ball palette and here's poodle so here's poodle and here's on the fence so on the fence is a little bit darker but this is a poodle is a very true beautiful pink um, I just prefer it honestly I would if, if I was gonna rebuy this and I would it could do it over again I would buy all of the same colors because softcore is stunning it is such a beautiful pink I was honestly really really surprised by how much I, re I liked softcore because um, it didn't strike me as a beautiful color just on the eye but once I started blending it and it has a transition color it was just beautiful if you want to buy it individually I would do all the same colors and I would not get on the fence I would get poodle instead that one really patchy didn't like it. I like it on my lid um, definitely need an eye base just please God don't buy on the fence the one honestly I did I liked it the least I liked it the least because on the eye I'll, I'll, I mean on the website the colors look a lot different like a really good example of that sorry to veer off from the pink collection but while I'm on that thought really good example of that was the color paper tiger on the website it, it looks a lot different and then in person I, I thought what a unique beautiful color it looked like a mustard and this it's just um, gosh I guess it does look mustardy but it's just a weird color it, but it, it's it is very smooth and it's very beautiful and it's very buttery so if you like I just wanted to show you a true representation of what that color is gonna look like um, let me swatch it for you on my arm site I'm sorry I have like no space can you see that? Yeah. So it is like a mustardy yellow, and it is very blendable. But on the website, I don't. Uh, I just was a little let down when I bought it. Whatever formula they have for their metallic shadows is just are, are, are stunning. They're very buttery to the touch. But out of all of the metallics, so that's what it looks like. Um, I would say it. it See, you can barely see it. It's not all the metallic um, ones that I bought, which I only bought one, two, three, four, five. It's my least favorite. It's it's really pretty, and if you pack it on, let's see here. Okay, so I packed it on right there. Shit, I'm sorry. Some swatches. Um, if you pack it on, it's gonna be, it's pretty, but it's it's not amazing. Um, there's prettier ones for the palette. It really, it's a, it's cohesive and it's a good color for the palette. But, but it, it's out of all of their metallic eyeshadows, that's my least favorite. A hundred percent. Let's transition over to the sand collection. The sand collection. I also bought the just the palette because there were so many beautiful browns. I was like, crap. Like, which one am I gonna get? Like, they're fucking all amazing. So. I just got this and I thought to myself, if it's as beautiful as I think it is, I'll buy the rest, you know? So I haven't bought the rest yet, but I'm sure as hell going to. Heavy Hitter is the name of the palette and it is called From Left to Right. From Brana, Jesus Christ. Wait, right, left, okay, yeah. From right to left. Um, full Zip, Ringer, sidetracked and top notch and I added this one into the end because it's also one of my favorites and it's called crisscross and it's a really beautiful it's 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 honestly just buy it it reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hill color red ochre it is a great dupe for red ochre so just so you know Honestly, a lot of these shades are great dupes for that, for the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Very warm colors. So, and that is my wheelhouse. Warm colors, cool ones. Shit, girl, I don't know how to wear that. I don't know how you wear that. 
how do you wear blue? I don't know. I guess we'll figure this out together on this YouTube thing. And I think, honestly, psychic, there's going to be a lot of fuck ups, but we'll see. Okay, so back to the sand collection. Ringer, holy shit. This is like butter. Butter. I just like to touch it. It's it's almost like they're like super shock shadows. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me a lot of Lala. Um, it's so buttery, it's so beautiful. I'm out of place, this is so ridiculous, I'm going down my arm. But look at that. You can't even see them, you know. That is one of my favorite um, metallic shades ju just by Ringer. Like, if you could go out and just, if you want to pick out the most beautiful colors, get Ringer, get Centerfold, get the Crisscross, get Slim Fit and Issues, the Pinks. They're probably my least favorite, and I honestly did not think I was going to say that. If I had to rate this whole collection, I was going to say, I 100% I thought Sam was going to be on my, my, you know, the third one down because it's it's just browns, you know? Like, you can get amazing, beautiful, amazing, 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 you know, makeup geek browns, neutrals that are just, will blow your mind. But these are really unique, and they're really pretty, and there's some colors that I don't have in my collection. So, I'm letting you know right now. Oh, and another thing is in the sand collection, this color called Sidetracked, it is a matte brown. Um, there is a, uh, I think they like sprayed it with a little bit of gold dust or something, but it's a matte brown. I have that on my eyes today. Um, it's really, really pretty. There is a little bit of gold in it. Um, it's just sprayed over top like once you get down below that if there's no I don't know why they did that honestly it's pretty deceiving and I'm glad that it was just a little bit of spray gold over it because I, I don't want any little flecks of freaking gold in it like randomly oh shit this metallic is on the fence this pink is fair play oh yeah fair play didn't like on the fence didn't like poodle much better that pink um, issues beautiful it reminds me a lot of makeup geeks uh, peach smoothie which I use in my crease every freaking day see it's peach smoothie is a little bit more a little bit lighter but um, they're very similar so here are, are my other single eyeshadows I got this is another one of my favorites and it's been metallic, it's been pep talk, and I'm really, really beautiful. It's buttery. Like, look at that. You could use it as a highlight if you wanted to. Um, I just, I love pep talk. Another one I like, they're metallics that I bought, and I was so glad I bought, is called Pinky Promise. And it is this, it's so it doesn't look, like in the pan, it looks really, really pretty. But then when you swatch it and you put it on the skin, it's so buttery. Look, the metallics are so beautiful. Look at that. Like it's very warm, really like a pink, like reflag or it is swatched. Pinky promise, like it's just stunning. I would all of all the metallics except for that pink one are beautiful. I also have this metallic in Come and Get It. And I love Come and Get It. It's very peachy, it's very pigmented. If you, you know, we're all using a lot of these peach tones, so to have this to put, like, isn't that beautiful? It's very, like, a champagne peach. Another beautiful, one of my favorites, is Stay Golden. And that also reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, palette. It's a matte. Look at how pigmented that is inside of my hand. Look at that. Not stay golden. Um, and out of the two blues, there's two, and I bought this more periwinkle or lighter blue, and this is called Boston Found. I threw away the other blue because it was so patchy. This one is still a little bit chalky, but it's beautiful. Like if you 
put down um, a primer first before you use this color but it, it's such a fun I know I say I don't wear blue this is the only blue look that I've done and that I was like this looks kind of cool um, I recommend it for a fun pop of color I'm just warning you though it you have to build it on it you have to use a base and it does like there is some fallout um, that's one of the one of them that it can be chalky but out of all of their um, new spring collection I am so happy like these turned out so beautiful um, I'm really excited for their summer collection but Colourpop, thank you for double play that highlight. How do you do it? How do you do it? $16, I don't know. And closing statements. Like just look at look at this palette, how beautiful it is. Like look at how pretty these colors are. It just makes me so happy to look at a palette that is so vivid and so warm and you know we love our neutrals but ColourPop thank you for for making some really fun colors all right so that's my review on their new spring collection I cannot wait for their summer collection those colors look crazy um, I hope you enjoyed this review so please subscribe to my channel um, if you have any questions please put comments down below I want to know anything about these press shadows that I didn't say I feel like I said a lot, you know, ask me, I'll reply. Um, check out my Instagram, my main B. I do a lot of looks with these colors. If you guys want to see how to do some fun, playful spring looks. All right. I hope you guys are having a beautiful spring. Um, thanks for listening to me, Blab. Have a beautiful rest of your day.